I mean, so I drive the, the one behind us, which is a, a 1920 barrel six horse crane engine. It was sold, uh, it was ended up second hand to a company called Jay Hickey, which, uh, which you can see it's got on the canopy and it stayed with them for most of its working life. They're a boiler maker, so they, they used the jib to lift, uh, lift and load the, the trailers and it then went in uh, and delivered them to the customers. So Burrell is the manufacturer, Burrell is a Thetford, uh, built in 1920, as I say. Uh, it's probably one of the one of the more prolific manufacturers of traction engines. Um, yeah, six, it's a six horsepower. They're, they're rated in horsepower the traction engines. Uh, it's got three speeds and belly tanks and a few optional extras. Steering wheel as, as per a car. There's a few more locks. It's probably about 40, 40 full turns, lock to lock, um, to left to right. Uh, you've got a big brake wheel, which is another big hand wheel, so you've got to wind that on. It's not on a foot pedal like a car. A uh, big old hand wheel to wind, wind the brakes on and off. steam engine uh, manufactured by a company called uh, Marshalls of Gainsborough. It was made in 1909 to control the, the uh, speed of the machine with the, uh, with the regulator. Um, there is a pair of ball, uh, a governor on there with the, the, the pair of balls. So if you're actually working a machine, you can set the regulator at a particular speed uh, and the governors will then actually maintain that speed um, if, the, uh, the, machine, if the, the, the steam engine comes under load. Um, so the, the uh, valves are opened up to let more steam in to keep the speed constant of the engine. And that's the, uh, the purpose of the governors. Um, but we're lucky most of the time we're only running it on about uh, 60 pounds per square inch. Uh, the machine it's running today has been very successful on that pressure. Um, whilst you're working that, the, the steam itself uh, evaporates the water in the boiler and then you have to actually um, put water into that particular boiler to replace that it is uh, actually gone off in steam that you've been used to actually drive the machinery. So we have a pump on the side that's, uh, that's driven by the actual crank on the machine and that then pumps water into the boiler. Uh, once you've got enough water in the boiler when it's running you can then divert that water back into the vessel that the water's uh, stored in um, and obviously you need to keep topping that water up as you use it throughout the day. It's a Tasker roller. It was built in 1909, uh, where it was built as a light haulage engine, meaning that it had four wheels that were all rubberized. It was taken back by Taskers, the manufacturer, in 1930, where it was converted to this prototype roller. They usually start up on, a, on, on woods. It, you know, we soak them in, in something that burns quite easily, like diesel or paraffin. And it's this wood that creates the initial fire and then we spoon in coal afterwards to, uh, to sustain the fire and then it's then the coal that we, we burn off of. But it's that wood initially, because it's easier burning than the coal, that we use to get the fire started. So in the driver's cab we have a regulator, reversing lever, uh, a brake, uh, injector handles, uh, we have a bypass button and, and all these work together. Uh, the regulator just dictates how much steam is going through the motion, how much steam is actually entering the cylinders. The reversing lever is effectively how far your valves open uh, and using this you can actually get the motion to run in both directions. 